Hi guys, I thought you might be interested to see this. Uh, this is an Amstrad PCW 8512, uh, pretty much in its uh, original state. The only modification I've made is to replace the A drive, uh, floppy drive, with a GoTek drive, more for convenience, but I have left the, um, the original uh, high density uh, disc in uh, the drive B slot. So, if we power this on, so at the moment on the GoTek drive, I've got a CPM disk image it, uh, loaded or mounted. So that's gonna boot that up and come up with CPM version 1.5. So this is the um, Amstrad variant of uh, CPM. And we do have the original dot matrix printer attached uh, just up to the right there out of shot and the only addition uh, was connected um, via the RS232 interface which was included on this particular machine uh, which is a, a bit of a bonus is a, a Wi-Fi modem so that's effectively um, it appears to the machine uh, to be a, a standard AT compatible modem, but actually it connects to my local Wi-Fi network and allows us to connect effectively via Telnet to legacy bulletin board systems and the like. Although in theory, you could use it for pretty much anything you wanted to. So there you go, you can see that's uh, happily booted up into CPM. If we just get a directory listing there, just to demonstrate that's working. So that's all fine. Okay, let's try something else. So, if you're familiar with GoTex, you'll you'll know about this. So we're basically just toggling through all the disk images that are on the machine. And this time I'm just gonna boot it up with Cirrus Chess, once we can find it. There we go. 3D variant. So standard key sequence to reboot PCW, shift, extra, and exit. Okay, there we go, and there's Sirius Chess. If I press C, we'll get the demo. There you go. So you can see that's all working fine. So I'll show you one more thing on here. Um, obviously, all the original software will work as expected, so Loco Script and Logo and whatever else. Um, there's even Pac-Mania available for it. <laughs> okay, so this time I'm gonna load up, or mount rather, um, some terminal software. Okay, there we go, BBS terminal. So this is effectively um, gonna boot up a copy of CPM and it's also got a copy of Qterm which it's going to automatically execute. We'll just reset the machine again. Okay, there you go. Again, booted up into CPM version 1.5. And then as part of the, uh, the boot sequence, it'll run up uh, Qterm. And then there's just a couple of things we need to do once we're in Qterm and I'll, I'll walk you through those when we get there.
Okay, so there you go. We're into Q term and the key sequence to change the configuration, press and hold the paste button and then use the, uh, the hotkey here. So B to change the board rate. I'm gonna set that to 1200 because that's what I've got the AT Wi-Fi modem configured for currently. And we can see if that's working by just issuing an AT command. And there we go, we get an okay back. So I can type ATDT and then the actual um, URL colon and followed by the port number of the telnet service of the bulletin board that I want to connect to. But in this case, I'm not going to do that what I'm going to do is type ATDT and then one, because on the internal phone book um, or directory on the modem, I've already configured that. So there you go. We can see that connecting to the Synchronet BBS. And this will be for amstrad.simulant.uk on which I have an account. Okay, so the only other thing we might want to do is force this into VT100 mode just for compatibility. So again, it's the paste key and V to enable VT100 emulation. Okay, we'll skip through the first few bits on the bulletin board. There you go, welcome back to 1985. So if we want to send an email, if we say send, Okay, and it's slash S to save and send. Okay, so I'm watching my account um, on my other machine here. I can see that that email has been received. Welcome back to 1985. And I'm going to reply to that. And we'll send that. Now you can't see what I'm doing, but you will do in a few seconds. So if I now click read on here, there you go. So I don't know if you can read that, but um, the email has come back from my Gmail account. And uh, there you go, got it. Now let's go back to the future. So that's the basics of connecting via a, a BBS to send and receive email, uh, as it might have been back in the mid 80s. So we'll quit out of there. And then an O to log off. Yep. 
There we go, and we're disconnected, and see so it's come up with no carrier. And just to make absolutely sure, we can issue an ATH for a hang up. And there we go, definitely disconnected. So one final thing then, let's demonstrate a game running on here. So I'm just gonna see if I can find Pac-Mania. Okay, and again, shift, extra, and exit to reboot. One to start game. Okay, see if I can remember the keys. Oh, there you go. And space to jump. Oh, there you go. Even some sound. <laughs> Okay, we won't play too much more of that. Okay, so there you go. There's one Amstrad PCW 8512 from circa 1985, uh, running a number of applications on top of uh, CPM version 1.5. Okay, thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed it, cheers.